because we're gonna start recording now because Connie's gonna kill me. But Connie, you have this recording in your masterclass already. Number one, create the intention. Number two, write it down, get clear, make sure you don't have a negative tag on it. And the more emotion that you feel, the quicker it will manifest or I like to say create. And step three, every single day, you are going to picture that end result. You're going to feel it from a place of done. It's done, it's done. I'm losing three pounds, it's done. Drinking shakes are delicious. I get plenty of activity when I ride my bike with my kids. I'm consciously drinking more water all day long. I actually told myself that just cutting out coffee was gonna make me lose three pounds. So we'll see if my cells are listening. Are you listening cells? That's, my, that's what I told my body to do. Okay, so you want to, this is what we're gonna start doing now. So your homework is going to be to get crystal clear on the intention because I want you guys to start creating. If you could do it tonight, great, because we still have a few weeks together. Um, and I do have master class too. We'll talk about that uh, in the next call. We have an advanced version of this and you'll all definitely want to be on that. That's when we get into energy and quantum physics and the super exciting stuff. Okay, so we want to install the belief. So when you have your intentions and you can write it from the reverse model, what must I believe to achieve this result? What must you believe about money? What must you believe about marketing? What must you believe about your skill set? What must you believe about your resourcefulness? What you need, what you have? There's all kinds of gremlins that'll show up and that's okay. The clearer that we are on the gremlins, the quicker you start creating. Because you're at a point now, ladies, that you know that the thought is a thought and that you are the thinker of your thought so that we can challenge when these gremlins come up and say, wait, why am I thinking that? That's not the truth. Well, if that's not true, then is it possible that the opposite could be true? Is it possible I'm a money magnet? Is it possible that marketing comes easy to me? Is it possible that it's easy for me to generate an extra three grand a month? Of course, it's all possible. We just have to get your beliefs on board. So you're gonna set, you're gonna write down your intentions. Now here's what happens if you only do step one. You have a 10% chance of achieving your desire. If you only did step one, you have a 10% chance of achieving your desire. If you did step one and two, you're clear on your intention and you wrote it down, you have a 50% chance of getting your desire. If you put all three of these into practice and apply them every day, you will create, promise. That is the art of creation. The only thing you're here and you wanna be here. And the only thing in the way is your story, your belief. And it sounds simple, but once we find out what that is and what those are, cause here's the thing, you're gonna have beliefs about money you're gonna have beliefs about the economy. You will have beliefs about whether or not people are spending money in a time like this. Some of you might think, oh my God, this COVID pandemic, people aren't spending money. I just spent $1,000 two, three days ago on a brand new program. So if you wanna use me as evidence, that's not the truth. The truth is people are still spending money to invest in themselves. Okay, so if you do one, two, and three diligently, you will create your intention. Okay, the hardest part will be remembering in the beginning. So I encourage you to set alarms in your phone. You guys have all seen my phone and my alarms. You're gonna wanna do that because you're gonna wanna read your intentions every morning. You're gonna wanna read your intentions every night and you're gonna want to read your I am statements 10 times a day. You want, if, if you want it, if you want it, you will read them 10 times a day. 
Will it get to the point where you're like, oh my God, I got to read these? Yeah, absolutely. Totally. It will. Aw. Can I read that out loud? You sent it to me privately. Oh, April. <laughs> she sent me a cute little. She said, your coaching is so packed with life-changing actions. Mm -hmm. Virtual hugs. <laughs> April's been with me for a long time. So that is very, very um, great to hear. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, um, here are words you want to avoid at all costs. And if they come up, shut them up. I might, I'm hoping, I'm trying, I really want to, possibly. Eh. Those aren't decisions. Remember, when you decide, you are all in on that one thing. You have decided to create this thing. So you can't say I might, and then I'm creating this thing. Like they're very contradictory, contradictory vibrations. You won't create anything from that place. So anytime those words come up, you want to catch yourself and be like, huh, why did I say that? Because what is happening is you've got a belief about what it is you are creating. And we need to find that belief, see where it at, see where it is so that we can make a new decision. It's the only thing, guys. The only thing in the way is the story. Emotion is the secret sauce. Do whatever, right? Uh, change your state. How to change your state. So what are your favorite things to do? Go outside. Today, I had to change my state because I have been behind this computer creating a new program. I started getting a headache. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I did my meditation outside and got some sun and it felt amazing. And then my mom was sitting outside. My mom's my neighbor, if you didn't know that. So I went and sat outside with her and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Now I'm rejuvenated for my class tonight because I was getting super like, I think I need to get those glasses when you're on computers all day long. Cause now that I'm building another business yeah, yeah. on my computer much more. So emotion is the secret sauce. Your emotion will tell you where you are. Okay, remember the emotional guidance scale. Your emotion will tell you where you are. Your subconscious listens to how you feel and what you say. Remember when you say I am statements, you are affirming something that you believe. I am smart, I am energetic, I am abundant, I am wealthy. Those are all fantastic. We don't want to say other stuff. That's not in alignment with what we are creating. Now there's a really uh, cliche, um, what's the word of quote, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, fake it till you make it. That alone has a shitty fucking thing. Don't you think like fake it? I don't want to fake anything. So believe it until you mm -hmm. see it. Because you all have a vision right now that you are creating something, whether it's three pounds, it's 10 grand, it's a new partner, whatever. And you need to believe and hold on to that until you physically see it in the physical world. What you impress gets expressed. All right, that's all for my lesson, ladies. So we got 10 minutes if you wanna do any live Q&A or a reverse thought model or just questions about what we're creating. Or we could end early. Does everyone know, like does everyone have an idea based on the last 30 days or 60 days like You've all were working on some kind of desire before you met me. Does everyone kind of like have an idea of what the, they want the next 30 days? Or is anyone like, I don't even know where to start right now because I'm afraid of the coronavirus. Okay, good. Mine's of course marketing. none of you are because yeah. you're all my peeps. Yeah, mine is marketing. Mine I know yours. Is, yeah, mine is marketing. My marketing doing my marketing and getting myself five to 10,000 by the end of this month. 
Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so you're gonna do result, action, feeling, thought. Result, action, feeling. So you're gonna use this model to create the desire, but then when you write it, you right. can write it in a sentence form. Right, what's the T for? Thoughts. Okay, can you hear me? Thoughts. So my result, if my result is one combo sale, and my action is Facebook marketing, uh, and you wanna be specific on your action, so going into groups, friending 10 people a day, sending the link out, and remember, you want them to be measurable, so I'm sending the link to 20 people, and then you track that, that's a KPI, that's a key performance indicator, okay? okay? Uh, I'm okay. joining three groups a day. I'm messaging, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Facebook friending 20 people a day. I'm sending the link to 15 people a day, right? Get specific on that. So that's okay. in your action okay. line, be specific. And then how yeah. do you need to feel motivated, empowered, fucking awesome. That's, how, that's the term I like to use. <laughs> Or amazing. I like to say amazing a lot. Yeah. Amazing just feels so good to me. Now, what okay. does Veronica need to think in order to feel, in order to action, in order to result? I'm going to get me uh, uh, $10,000 $10, for these people. I'm sending these uh, um, um, emails or, or texting these, these uh, that's going to join into the group. Yep, so be specific when you write it down. And then this reverse thought model, you don't have to, you have to write this down to create the intention because your thoughts right here, you want 10 of them. Because these are what you're gonna read. You might, I need to think that, well, well here, so here's what's gonna happen. Whatever you need to think, you can write those down like, I need to think I'm empowered. I need to think I'm um, great at marketing. You're going to transform those into I am. I am great at marketing. If that feels a little far fetched, then just say, I'm getting better at marketing every day. I'm getting better at talking to people. Some people don't like to talk to people. I'm getting better at communicating every single day. Okay, so you'll find that you'll, you'll create the thoughts, you want 10 of them, and then you'll turn them into I am. Okay, so do, do the thoughts first and then turn it into I am. Yeah, yeah, do the thoughts first. Like, it's okay to be, because you're going to write this down in like a journal form or, you know, you can be messy with right, it, stuff right. like that. Your final product will start with, I intend to create da 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 da. And then you're going to write your 10 thoughts, but they can be cleaner. You can write them sloppy, like, uh, you know, I need, to, I need to think that people are spending money. I need to think that people are still interested in real estate investing. Okay. I need to think right. that I attract the right customers. I need to think that I'm getting better at marketing. Okay. If, if, if it's far-fetched to say I'm great at marketing, then you just say, I am getting better at marketing every day. I'm getting better at sales every day. Okay. Your subconscious will jump on board and say, you are Veronica, I'm watching you. Okay. 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 Do anyone have any questions about the thought model? And April, I got all the actual meat and potatoes on the recording. So it'll be short and sweet for you to watch because I'm visually holding up the thought model and stuff like that. So, um, oh, my phone. Um, so it's so actually, Jen, when you do your Zoom, I'm sorry, when you do your Zoom, you can automatic because this is a, a, a repeat reoccurrence. So you can go into Zoom and you can click on automatic uh, record. I did. And every time you come in, you automatically record. I did, I did, but my impatient self hits pause while we get all the fluffy, hi everyone, how's everyone doing, yada, 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 yada. Oh, okay. And then I forgot to yeah, hit okay. pause when we started. Oh. We're gonna blame it on Connie, she's supposed to remind me. <laughs> She's my, okay. she's my record. No, not my no, record wait a talk. minute. I reminded you. No. In the I know. I'm only playing. I'm only playing. Okay, <laughs> okay. 
I'm only playing. And you guys know if you need bonus calls or anything that you don't understand, just reach out. I'm all, hey, I'm always available. So that's not a problem. But the meat and potatoes okay. are pretty good um, for the recording piece of it. If you missed anything in the beginning, um, I think you guys will be fine. You got the one, two, three stuff. So Jennifer, I'm kind yes. of maybe going into more ahead, but what is the difference between setting I intend the intentions to I love knowing that? What is the difference between those two? Um, nothing other than. Isn't one a, a, an yeah. attempt and the other one is a confirmation? So we use I love knowing that for, um, for our affirmations, but let me do it. Hold on. I love knowing that I'm creating $10,000 this month. I intend to create. I would say that when you say I intend to, it's a little more of a command, but I would say that you could use your I love knowing for your thought statements. So if I am a good marketer, feels a little like, ah, oh, then you could say, you could substitute it with, I love knowing that I'm getting better at marketing every single day. That's a feel good statement. So an intention, when we say the word intention and Wayne Dyer uh, has a, he actually has a, a book on it, but you can just literally YouTube Wayne Dyer and intention. He talks all about it. An intention is a goal with an emotion, which is why it's a desire. A goal, a goal is a goal. I have a goal to do whatever. I have a goal. I have a goal. I have a goal, right? Whatever. Okay. Half the people in the world don't make their goals. When you say I have a desire, people are like, what? Like I have a desire. I have like Napoleon Hill says, you have to have a burning freaking desire. Like you have to want it more than you don't want anything else in the world. That's a desire. So when you have an intention, it's a goal with emotion. It's a desire. It's telling the universe, I love knowing that. Sure. That sounds great, but I intend to create this 10 grand and I love knowing that you're going to put it into my bank account in 30 days. You can use both because the I love knowing is very powerful, but the I love knowing is more for the affirmation side of it. If you say both out loud, you can feel the difference. Like I intend to make 10 grand. I love knowing I'm going to make 10 grand. Uh, the I intend has like a more powerful, like, yeah, she ain't screwing around. She's making 10 grand. And then the I love knowing is like, and I love knowing that it's going to be easy. I love knowing that marketing comes so easy to me and that, Anything I don't know, the universe will put right in front of me on a silver platter because the universe loves me and adores me. One of my favorite affirmations is, um, I love, what is it? I love, what is it? It's not an affirmation, it's like a question. Uh, the universe loves to delight and excite me. So I say this like every, when I remember, like every other day. Oh, the universe just loves, I can't wait to see what the universe is gonna give me today because it loves to freaking make me excited. And then the universe is like, oh shit, we better scramble to get some stuff together because she wants to be excited. <laughs> and then I get some and I'm like, I created that. <laughs> Just imagine waking up with that, that universe, man, loves to freaking delight me. I can't wait to see what it's going to do today. Imagine saying that and then getting out of bed, how your day would be. This is deliberate creating. We're not waking up and then saying, how do we feel? We're waking up and we're saying, we feel amazing. Like we're letting our body know we feel good. We're going to create today. We're going to go serve some people. We have a product that the world needs and we're going to go share it with love and abundance. That is deliberate creation. Okay. Any more questions before we end? Okay, ladies, you were off oh. quiet tonight. Easy class. No Is it sinking in? How are those thought yes. models going? Are we thought modeling, ladies? I sent oh, you that yes. one. <laughs> I know Connie is. How, I, I, how the heck do you get Facebook to do the, you know? Oh, Connie, I was going to. So perfect. Oh, <laughs> do you do Facebook from your PC or from your phone? Uh, PC. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna share my screen. So if no one wants to stay on the call, they don't need to, but I told Connie that I would teach her how to do this. So I'm going to. What you teaching her how to do? When she uh, messages me on Facebook and hits enter, it, it goes into the next 
line. It's not congruent and she can't figure out how to not do that. The short answer is you can't hit enter. Like that's right. the short answer. You just have Empty to. Bullets. Bullet so points. If you're going down, yeah, we'll just do a comment. Like if you go testing this, enter number one, I want to, and then you want to hit number two, you can't, it will automatically go to the next one. So you can tab, tab. yeah, tab, you can tab over, mm -hmm. tab, like your space bar, tab over to a little bit later on in the, in the comment. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. This group is only for us. So you can continue to do it in the form that you're doing it. Cause I'll, I understand it. But if it's bugging you, um, then you just have, you just keep typing kind of like you do when you message me, like you just type one long type. Just put a few spaces in between if you're trying, I'm trying to, let me, let me go to your. Put the dots, you know, dot, dot, space it. You know how they do the three dots to space? Yeah, you could do that too. I'm trying mm -hmm. to see what her, oh, right here. So she was doing a thought model. So Connie, I would, you know what I would do, Connie? I would create a brand new post up in here because you can hit C. Current thought is Zoom. And then you can hit return. Feeling is love it. Da da da, da da da, da da da. And then you're gonna hit tag friend and you're gonna hit Jennifer and tag me. Oh, you know what? I think I'm mindset mentor in here. That's weird. I so each in. line is its own post. Wait, so this is a regular, um, a regular Facebook post. So when you hit enter, it will go down to the next line. What you're doing is oh. making a comment. A comment. Okay. A comment, it won't do it. But if you want to create a thought model like this, all you have to do is tag me and I'll see it. Okay. And then you're doing it. And this is actually better because then everyone is seeing it. And you guys, when I tell you that I have, am going through the same thing. Uh, I'll tell you, you'll see some thought models. For, oh, I didn't do my gratitude challenge again today. I'm failing at that thing, man. What do I need to believe about myself to remember to do my freaking gratitude challenge every day? Okay, so you see, I'm in level two, right? Thought models, thought models, thought models, thought models. Ladies, we're all helping each other out, okay? This is how we learn and grow from each other. Thought models, thought models, thought models. Of, oh, we were talking about the power of awareness, so I shared, I shared those YouTube links in the group. See, I'm a student. Guys, thought models, you cannot outthink these, whatever you're struggling with, wherever you feel stuck, wherever you're not creating, you cannot outthink it. Thought models. Okay. Reverse thought models for creation and regular thought models for stuck or struggle or, or whatever that's uh, not feeling good. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, my loves, I will see you tomorrow. I want to see your shit inside the group. Okay, inside the group. There. Okay, all up in there. All, all up, up in, in there. there. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Well. Have a great night. You're welcome. All right, you too. Bye, ladies. Bye.